on January 23rd in Rankin County, Mississippi, without showing a warrant, cops burst into a home. Two black men lay inside, Brother Michael Jenkins and Brother Terrell. They were falsely accused by this six white officers of dating white women and selling drugs, and that wasn't true. The two were immediately subdued and handcuffed in the residence. But instead of taking the handcuffed men into immediate custody for their alleged crime, the six white cops decided they would hold the men hostage and terrorize them for nearly two hours inside the home. While the men were handcuffed and bound, these six Rankin County white cops beat the men while they were handcuffed, tased the men repeatedly while they were handcuffed, punched, slapped, and beat the men while they were handcuffed, and incredibly, the white officers used waterboarding tactics in this raid. Then in the course of this torture and physical abuse and humiliation, Rankin County sheriffs were both putting guns to both men's head, threatening to kill them while handcuffed. Then tragedy struck when one of the sheriffs shot Michael Jenkins in the mouth. Yes, the cop shot Michael in his mouth, almost killing him, causing him life-threatening injuries, and Michael has been in ICU and had to have his tongue removed from his mouth. Without presenting any warrant information, with no warrant, the officers forced their way into the residence. Then these deputies immediately subdued and handcuffed these men. Immediately. At no point did Michael Jenkins or Eddie Terrell Parker resist the Rankin County deputies in any way. Rankin County deputies without justification repeatedly punched both Jenkins and Parker, intentionally and repeatedly kicked and abused both Michael Jenkins and Mr. Parker, and repeatedly, without cause, while handcuffed, tasered over and over again, these two men while in handcuffs. This vicious and illegal conduct of forced intimidation by Rankin County, Mississippi deputies was followed by a Rankin County deputy placing his gun inside of Michael Jenkins' mouth and pulling the trigger and narrowly avoiding killing him and taking his life. Um. I was just mainly uh, sitting in my room, uh, working on stuff like I always do, and uh, I heard uh, you know some loud talking, you know, from the, come from the living room, and uh, that's how I got up to go in and see what was going on, and uh, so I made down my uh, bedroom door. I saw the you know the police at the end of the hall, and they you know told me to get down. And I, I got down and, and uh, pretty much the army crawled to them and. That's when uh, uh, all the hectic started. Didn't hear a doorbell ring. Uh, actually, uh, I was I was in the back of the house, so I didn't hear the you know the door get kicked in. You know, I just saw the evidence of the door kicked in, and so uh, once I you know uh, got up to uh, where they were, they just you know they grabbed me and just uh, uh, started punching and kicking and you know uh, uh, hitting us, you know, hitting me. They were already you know him. Punched, uh, kick, uh, tase. I said that was that was uh, when they first tased me, and, uh, and uh, like I said, it, it was uh, pretty much an hour and a half or more, you know, hour forty five minutes of uh, torture, you know, starting uh, uh, pretty much right right after that. Um, them saying they were going to tase us, you know, and then hit us, you know, they kept us from getting up. And uh, we, they made us lay down on our back, and uh, he came with the pouring milk, you know, in my face. I mean, it was milk coming out my nose, my mouth, and I just, you know, it was. I, I've never been, you know, in that position or in that, you know, uh, and I guess felt the way that I felt that night. I mean, as far as uh, not being able to breathe, it was, uh, 
We're both breathing and uh, trying to, you know, keep from uh, keep breathing and keep from drowning at the same time. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you've enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button.